Hello guys, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials, that's DTW Tutorials. Okay, today I'm going to be taking the topic binary division. Uh, this is a request from a student who he sent me this particular example that I should solve it for him to understand better on binary division. I think he's having problems in it. So I'm, I'm fulfilling this request and if you also out there, you have any problems um, that you think it's difficult for you in maths under the jump and yx syllabus try to send me an email and i would make a video for you okay okay so uh we're going to solve this and don't forget jesus christ is coming soon try to give your life to christ repent and give your life to christ you know god always shows mercy he's a merciful god okay so here we have this example here and it says divide this by 101 so how do we carry out binary division we're going to know today so here all you need to do you remember um in your arithmetic class how you write down you know when you want to divide this is the way you you know you know you state it down one one zero one okay you state this way okay and we have zero one one so you draw it this way all right so first of all 101 can it go in one no can it go in 11 that's one one no can it go in one one zero yes it can go so you write what a one okay and one times 101 will give us what 101 remember this is what binary what division uh, division so when we are subtracting we are in the base two you know binary is base two okay so let's subtract this now zero minus one we can't subtract so we borrow a one and that one we are borrowing is what a two okay so two minus one will give us what a one and here we're left with what zero zero minus zero is a zero and one minus one is also a zero and also i've uh, treated this topic number basis you can try to watch it on my channel i've done the subtraction addition and multiplication of number basis okay and i've also done division that's for the ordinary division of number basis okay this is a binary division okay so what do we do we drop down what zero can 101 go in 10? No. So we put down a 0 here. And 0 times 101 is what? What 0 times 101? It will give us what? 0. Okay, let's subtract this. We have a 0 and we have a 1. And what's our next number to bring down is a 1. So we'll drop our 1. Okay, can 101 go in 101? Yes, it will go 1 times. So we write a 1 and multiply 1 times. This will give us what? 101. When we subtract this, we're going to get a 0. And let's bring down this, what? 1. Can 101 go in 1? No. So we write down a 0. 0 times this will give us, what? A 0. And we'll subtract this. What are we going to have? 1 minus 0 is still, what? A 1. Okay? And we drop down a 0. Okay? So can 101 go in 10? No. So we write down a zero and zero times 101 is what is what will give us a zero so when we subtract the zero minus zero is what zero and we drop our one and what's the next the value to drop down we're dropping down a one okay one and can 101 go in 101 yes it can go and we write a sorry a one okay one times this will give us what one Oh, 01 and we've ended here since there's no other number to drop and this will be what a zero this minus this what a zero okay so here this is our answer okay now we have to confirm that our answer is correct it's always very essential in binary division for you to confirm that your answer is correct now to do this all we need to do is convert this to decimal number that's base 10 so in converting this let's do this together we're going to do this and you know a shortcut method zero one one is one zero okay where this is one this is it. we're converting from a binary that's base two to base ten so this will be what two this will be what a four this will be what a eight this will be sixteen okay this will be thirty two and this will be what sixty four and this will be 128 this is a shortcut but you can follow the normal method and you still arrive at the same answer okay and if we add this up since we're going to add up 128 
since there's a 1 here, we're going to add up 64, we're going to add up 8, we're going to add up 4, and we're going to add up what? 1. When we add this up together, this is 8 plus 4, that's 12. 8 plus 4 is also 12, that will be 24. 24 plus 1 is what? 25. Put that 5, carry 2. So 2 plus uh, 2 here, that's a 4. And plus 6, we have a what? 10. Put that 0, carry 1. And 1 plus 1 here will give us what? A 2. So we have 2 or 5. So let's convert this also to decimal place. And we'll divide and check if our answer will result to this. Okay? So... 1 on 1 in decimal place, this will be what? 1, this will be what? 2, and this will be what? 4. So we have a 4. Since this is 0, we have a 4 plus a 1. Okay? That's 4 plus 1, and this will be what? 5. So we have 2 or 5 divided by 5. And what is, will this be? 5 in 20 is what? A 4. Okay? And 5 in 1 is what? A 1. So 41. So let's convert 41 now to... A binary uh, that's binary number that's base 2 to check if it is correct okay so let's convert it together here so we have 41 you can see I'm actually treating several several courses in, in a number basis here uh, so 2 here so 2 in 41 will be what that will be a 20 remainder 1 2 in 20 is what a 10 remainder what 0 and 2 in 10 is what how many a 5 remainder a 0 and 2 in 5 is how many a 4 no 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 not a 4 a 2 remainder a 1 and 2 in 2 is what a 1 remainder a 0 and 2 in 1 is what a 0 remainder 1 and remember we'll take our answer in the reverse order so what would this give us what is this we have what a 1 0 1 and you can see it's the same as this so our answer is correct so this is how you prove to make sure your answer is correct okay so uh, i've come to the end of this class but i'm going to give you something to try you can try this on your own please uh, just a little homework okay Try this on your own and also give me a comment of your uh, the answer you get okay so try this divide this 101 one, oh, one, oh, that's one ten 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 divided by what one one zero okay try to do this and show me give me your answers in the comments all right and also don't forget you can send me a mail any topic you really don't understand in WAG and jam syllabus send me a mail and i'll try to treat that for you so thank you for staying tuned to destined to win tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you you are destined to win bye and christopher thank you for sending the request in and please try to watch watch this video and also share to your friends thank you bye